Hey guys, it's Dawn here and today I want to uh, do a video about the Arctic riding skirt. This one that I have on is the backcountry skirt and um, I do have another video of the Tungus rain skirt so watch that one if you're more interested about that one but um, I just got this one so I wanted to show the features on this skirt and then I did bring my Tunga skirt out as well so I'm going to do a comparison and then at the very end I'll sit on the sair and try to show you what it looks like on a horse okay um, so <clears throat> I love this skirt it it's awesome but it is uh, like a duck canvas heavy wax cotton material so it is very different than um, the Tungus skirt. I'll show you what, let's see. Well, first off, it's not going to twirl like the other one. So it's not going to move around and twirl and do the whole princess twirl thing like the other one. Um, the, how you open, it also has this, this front flap that, I don't remember if the other one has it or not. Yeah, the other one has it as well. Um, so here's the front. The front, it's a two-way zip. So you can open it all the way up in either direction. And if you want to take it completely off from the zip, you got to do it from the front. Um, and then when you do that, you have this nice big blanket material. The inside is fully lined. And it's this really soft, let's see, make sure my camera's focusing. It's like this really soft uh, flannel type material. The workmanship as always is amazing. Um, the craft, the, the craftsmanship, the worksmanship, the sewing, it's all amazing. They use excellent hardware. No, there's nothing cheap about this. This is really high quality. For the belt, you've got <clears throat> a nice wide belt, belt loops, and it does have elastic across the back, so it'll give you that much room. This is the center on the back, and this is the back zipper, and that goes all the way down, and you see how They've done this with the zipper so that it, um, it's water resistant. This is water resistant for hours. And the duck canvas is not, it's not a super soft material. It's, it's stiffer, right? But because of the inner liner thing, then that makes it soft. But this is definitely, oh, you want to see my skirt? <clears throat> This is definitely like heavy duty, like, like backcountry is a perfect name for it. Uh, when it gets dirty, it's usually dirt from like horse sweat and it'll look like that. And to wash and clean, all you have to do is hose it off, hose it off, wipe it off, whatever. Um, the zipper you've got, well, first off. It's this type of zipper, so it's that waterproof uh, zipper thing. So it's really nice. You can stick your entire hand in there and it's enclosed inside uh, the liner. So you don't see the zipper, I mean the, the pocket from the inside. And you've got one on each side. Lasser loves it. Yes, I know. Now for the side, th there's the there's the back zip. I got the charcoal gray color, and the bottom is this brown, and I think this is beautiful. Um, it's got these buttons on the bottom that will button to the top here, so you can clip it out of the way if you need to mount. I never use those. I just kind of toss it over a leg or whatever. And then it's got these leg straps, much like the leg straps on your horse blankets um, to prevent it from flapping. But honestly, these, these don't flap. 
neither one of them really flaps or anything. They do move, and when it moves, it's like when we're going at speed, the air will kind of catch under it, and then the air will kind of like move like a wave and just come out the other end. But with this one, it doesn't have really an other end because th this one only fit. <laughs> I'm trying to back up a little bit, but I'm stuck with my horse. Um, this this one doesn't really um, do that because this one only covers the legs. This one does not go over the rump. And so when you're trying to choose a skirt, the heart, okay, really, these skirts are amazing. And, and the, it's not a question of whether or not you should get one. It's more of a question of which one should you get. But um, uh, what, one of the things you, to try to make it easier to decide which one to get is think about um, the care that you want to put into the material. And then, um, and then if you want one that is a full skirt or one that's, uh, that goes over the rump as well, or if you want one that's slimmer and narrower and does not go over the rump. Lacer and I, we don't do well in the cold, and, but he is a lot more cold resistant than I am. So sometimes I will want something over my legs, but, but he doesn't need anything over his rump. And so in that, those cases, that's where I, I will be wearing this one. Also, um, if I'm going through extreme backcountry, there's, um, I go through spots where there's a stinging nettle that, and the stinging nettle in the riverbed will get like seven feet tall and the needles on that on that thing is is insane it will go through jeans but it won't go through this this is like protection i need a backup so people can see can we back up all right so hopefully you can see a little bit better so this one there's a zipper on the back you see how this one doesn't have the full um, poof on the back there. So to to unzip it when when you're ready to ride, this is in the this is in the regular mode. When you're ready to ride, then you just unzip on the back. So now it's open on the back, and then you unzip the front. So it's open on front, and now you've got two panels. You've got one leg panel over here, one leg panel over here. And here's the butt okay so it's not gonna go it's not gonna go over the saddle really and over the horse's rump um, let's see this is what it looks like now I'll show you the other one. Oh, oh I'm not sure if I'm modeling this right this is the belt that I use so I got a nice pretty belt I'll show you what it looks like with the belt. Oh, for sizing. Okay, here's the thing. They said on their sizing that um, that this one doesn't have as much elastic around the waist as a tungus skirt. So if you wear like a size medium tungus, you might, wait, how does it work? If you wear a size medium, you might need to go up a size for this one. I didn't really find that to be true, really, for me. I had a medium in the tungus, and, and so, and it was large for me. So then I figured, well, then I'll just stick with medium for this and then it should be just the right size. This one is still a bit large for me. Um, I'm 5'4 and 124 pounds. And this one's still large for me, but when I cinch it up with the belt, then, I mean, it's perfect. So hopefully you can see the waistline. I'm gonna show the skirt. Okay, so there's that. But I'll show you how much room I have in the waist. But that's because, I mean, it does have this um, stretchy over here. So. And that's a, this is a medium. All right, let me show you the the other skirt. So 
So this one has a big twirly princessy <laughs> type. It's a lot lighter. This one is so light um, in comparison to the backcountry. It's light, it's a little more flappy, it's a little more airy. The other one really stays down. This one wants to flow a little bit more. And this one makes, makes a little more noise. So the other one is more silent. I like the weight of that one and then I like the lightness of this one as well so this one you have the elastic stretch and this one the pocket you can see on the inside it is lined with the micro fleece and it's the same awesome um, worksmanship but see how this one at the back panel, it doesn't have that zipper. Instead, it has this extra gusset. Um, I think that's what it's called, I don't know. But that's what makes it so that it'll, it'll sit over the horse's rump. And, um, and once again, to zip, to open it up completely, you go from the top. So that way it's really easy to just do this. For both of them, you can put your hands completely inside the pockets. This one's really roomy, and it seems like there's more material with this one because, you know, it can go over the rump as well, but, it's, but it is a lot lighter. So the leg straps are both the same. You just slip a leg through here, and then it just keeps it steady, but I never use those. And it does have... It is attached by a button, so if anything happens, um, it'll just, you know, th that'll just pop right off. So that's a safety thing. Um, both of them work the same in that they do have one of these buttons goes up here. So this way, if you need it out of the way, then it clips out of the way like this. I'm not sure, I can't see the screen real well, so I'm not sure you're able to see this, but hopefully you can see the difference between my leg and this is all black, so maybe that's not the best one to show. This is the thickness or thinness of this material versus the much thicker of this one. Of course, this is the border part as well. But whereas this is very light, hopefully you can see it's very light, airy, and then this one is stiffer and more like these are excellent survival blankets too, I'm just saying. You know, if you're thinking about having something that can double as a shelter, emergency, stuff like that, then I mean, this does, this definitely does the job. So, in conclusion, absolutely love these skirts I still want to get one of every style and every color eventually I will save up and build my collection um, I never wear skirts out outside of this um, but this is just so amazing because the thing is I never thought about it before but before I, I mean, I always get cold, right? So in order for me to be warm, I would have to put on a vest, put on a jacket, maybe double up on jackets, and then have a scarf and, and all of this stuff and so many layers until I'm walking around, you know, like the Michelin Man or something. But with this, um, just having this skirt cover my legs 
which is a huge percentage of my body where I'm just losing heat. And But I by having this covering and having that extra layer for warmth and security and um, safety and all that, then I can, I can stop bulking up so much up top, which is excellent because I'm actually more, especially when I'm riding, I'm more active up top. So it is so much nicer to have the, my bottom be warm and then be lighter on top so that I can remain active. And um, that, I mean, that is a huge thing. Just being able to have a layer for your legs because if you think about a pants, it's just one, one thin layer of fabric. And I mean, wind and stuff just cuts through this. This one is excellent against the wind there is no flapping and this one is like this is protection all right so i'll see if lacer is willing to do a little photo shoot now so you'll see what it looks like on the horse um but yeah totally recommend these skirts i totally am in love with them and i think they look pretty as well I don't know. You guys tell me. But I usually get compliments, and especially on endurance rides. Um, you know, those rides when you're out uh, for 7, 8, 12 hours, you're, it's cold in the when you first go out. It's cold when you come back. Or if you run hard um, and, you know, you get hot, but then you also cool down. This is so much easier than a rump rug or um, something like that. Well, if if you if you want the rump rug function, then you need a full skirt uh, like the Tungus. But um, yeah, I mean this one is just really easy. You can when you don't need it, you just push it out of the way. So when I don't need it, I just I can just fold them back like this, and then when I want extra, then I'll fold them in in the saddle like this, so that um, they stay closer against me. But yeah, excellent uh, protection for warmth and also brush protection and stuff like that. Um, all right, I think I've covered everything. I know I'm, I'm forgetting something. But uh, all right, let me do Lacer. Alright, so there you go and hope that helps. If there are any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.